Hey guys, Jim right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. So I've been hearing a lot of talk that the Mammoths and the Hadron Cabin is a really good combo, either with Trombones or with the King Mine. So we got both builds for you guys today. We got one with the King Mine reload module to get the fastest reload possible. And then we got one with the Trombone with Explosion Radius Fused Mammoths and um, just a normal reload module so it should be pretty interesting also this one with the reload module we have the cannons fused for extra reload less mass and projectile speed and then the second build we got our mammoths fused for extra explosion radius just because of the trombone will heat up targets so i'm assuming explosion radius will work out better um extra projectile speed and less mass so we got pretty good fusions on these mammoths both builds have a similar layout just wanted to try out which one feels better so I can use this build for myself. <laughs> so these are the setups we're going to run today. Now, have you guys been enjoying this week's videos? These week's videos have been pretty interesting, right? So if you like the videos, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm almost at 11k subscribers, so everything that you do to support me will really help out and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. So without any further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Alright guys, welcome to the bridge. We got our first build with the super reloaded mammoths. Now I forgot to explain the perk of the mammoth. After each shot, you get a weapon damage buff by 20% and it stacks up to three times. Now I'm not sure if it stacks 20% three times to get a total of 60. That would be kind of insane. Or if it stacks three times up to 20%. I think it's the second one, uh, but I'll need to test that. Uh, but yeah, nobody is like pushing up yet, kind of playing defensive here. So let's set up a perimeter or a fallback position with mine so nobody comes up from behind us. There we go. And then let's see if we can peekaboo a little bit. No shot. But oh, we got people pushing up the river. Let's go down there and see if we can come up or intercept some of them. I, I see some heated targets over there, some cannon. Good hit, good hit. One missed. Let's see if we can... No, 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 no. Oh, what? 200? I think I hit his wheels. Fall back position. Let's drop some mines. I'm not shooting fast enough. I'm expecting this thing to have a long reload. But I can shoot a lot faster than it's allowing me to. There we go. Fall back position. Come on, someone help me, man. Help me with this guy. Help me with this guy. There we go. Oh, man. I got absolutely shredded. Bill does not have a lot of armor. All right, guys. Welcome to the chemical plant. So last match, I played kind of defensive, but I forgot this was the super reloading build. So we got to play a little. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. We got to play a little bit more aggressive. Try to fire our shots as fast as possible into the enemy. Of course, being a little bit careful. I'm just kind of careful with uh, with pushing without my team, you know. Target over there. He's kind of in a dip. Oh, I think he got messed up by Mandrake. Yeah, he did. Poor guy. We got behind us. Oh, missed that shot. Perk is gone. Missed that shot as well. God dang it. Back to me, Perk. Whoa. I really want a set of mammoths again now. I haven't used mammoths in like at least a year. They do feel quite nice. They don't have the delay like Mastodons where you shoot and it takes like a second to get out of the barrel because it's trying to calculate if you're using a charge shot or not. So that is quite nice. And the perk is pretty cool too. All right, guys, welcome to Ravager's Foothold. We got a bunch of targets over there at one of the objectives. Good hit. I think one of them missed though. Beautiful, there we go. We're not shooting super quick. We do have our quick reloading build. This guy's heated. Oh, we can't shoot him. Good hits, good hits. 
kind of on the bridge for safety reasons. Oh, that's just your juicy shot. <laughs> Let's we'll push up a little bit. Oh, this guy's just eating those shots. We're getting some good damage here. Oh no, we're heated. And we got missiles coming in. Okay, falling back. Oh my god, you're glowing so much. Okay, our key mine got it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, dude. I was glowing so much, it was kind of uh, visually annoying. Like, it was so bright on my screen. Damn, we got wrecked. Alright guys, welcome to the Rock City. Ooh, they got two stragglers in the back here. One's a Mandrake bot and one is a... I don't see him anymore. But it's two bots, I believe. Oh no, it's a bot and a human player. Human player is gone. Focus on the bot. Michael is coming in. Ooh, good juicy hit, juicy hit. There we go, thousand damage. Oh, he's not gonna get it. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh my god, that bot is just hard focusing me. The rotation speed of these mammoths is just killer, man. Oh my gosh. And the reload is uh, not that fast anymore, so we do have to take that into account. But yeah, this build is tricky without a, uh, a pressure engine. Look at that rotation speed. Oh my gosh. This guy's heated, nice. Rotation speed is really killing me with this build. Let's go for the Mandrake guy. Never mind, this guy's just closer. Decent hit, not the greatest. He's heated now. He's kind of stuck. I do wish we had a little faster reload. And a faster rotation speed, because, oh. Nice, nice, nice. That's rough. It's rough to drive around builds without the oppressor engine. Not gonna lie. All right, guys, welcome to Old Town. So I, uh, I replaced the Cheetah engine with the oppressor engine just so we can get a faster third rotation speed because default speed is just absolutely horrid oh it's a missile build we gotta watch out for him good stuff good stuff i really love how the trombones lock onto builds i feel like they the devs might nerf that the way the trombones lock on that well because right now like everything is just better with the trombone on it and it's super easy. As soon as you see someone, you can just lock, uh, shoot your missiles. Okay, we got a scorpion build. Our first gun is sparking our front gun. Oh god, lost the wheel as well. Not a lot of teammates left there. Lost my radar for the trombone. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh. All right, guys, welcome to the crater. It's going to be the last one for this one, guys. Good hits. Good hits. Oh, 
Oh my god, <laughs> the fortune's just absolutely chewed off the right side of my or my left side of my throat. Bro. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, destructors, oh no. Oh no. A juicy generator. Now, where's the destructor build? Oh, there he is. Good hit. Unfortunately, um, I'm suffering from the fire first and then let the trombones hit syndrome. I'm not shooting targets that are heated because it's just a tricky combo. It'll be way better if a teammate had fire and I just had the cannon. See again, I'm not shooting a heated target. Now I can shoot a heated target and also help my team out at the same time. Ooh, that's a cool little hologram inside of his build. Well, guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be super honest with you guys. I had a lot of rough matches with these two builds. And I wouldn't necessarily say that the builds were bad or that the combos were bad. It's just the types of build you see in PvP. A lot of fast-paced builds, a lot of team builds. And they were sometimes just overrunning me. So um, I'm not... I, I can't really have an opinion on this build yet. I think it's an awesome combo, both of these. But with the trombone one, I think it's better if someone just had a trombone on them. Or if you're playing defensively and have a spider build and firing trombones and shooting cannons. But I can't play defensive in PvP because everybody rushes you. But in Clan Wars, I think it might stand a better chance. At least that's what I think. Uh, but yeah, I think I, uh, if you guys want to try out this combo, it's not bad. It's decent. The mammoths hit hard, but you got to run it with a for, uh, presser engine because the reload speed is just for it. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Almost at 11k subscribers. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day. I think I said that three times already. But yeah, have a great day. Peace out.